Um, yeah, I got a phone call. A lady said she leased some land for 20 years and she wants to move it. And Mima said you can't move it because it doesn't belong to you. And they said that she could buy it earlier. And she said, well, they won't let me move it and Long Beach won't let me stay here. What do I do? What she has to do is give it back to them. That's what I said. Yeah. Because Long Beach is already told she's not in compliance with mm -hmm. the ordinance. And she and, wants to and move it. This, this isn't just like somebody pulled on a light bulb and said, no. You got a problem. This has been going on for a while. And it could have been bought back before they started proceedings against them. Oh, okay. And that's where if I understood she... least rate, the reason they not tell them they can buy it now is because they have an eviction proceeding going on. Against them. Too late to buy it. And that particular buy one's in a B zone, which they wouldn't sell it to her in a B zone. They would oh. sell them in an A zone. But no B zone where well, they She says she wants to buy it and move it because the property's not hers at its own. You're talking about the one on Martin. Yeah. yeah she's got the only beans. The one you're talking about. Okay. I, I tell you, when you get down the bottom line, and I, Gary is not happy with it, I'm not happy with it, but I think that bottom line is MEMA has to follow through and finish these things that they're doing. I mean, with their legal team, and, and I think that they ran into a roadblock right here in our local justice court system. Uh, Gary told me about that. The wheels came off right I mean, in the middle of So they're on. feeling that and one oh, they're going to somebody else on one of them. And the other one hadn't even been anybody yet. If I got it right. They've never made it to a JP. But pardon uh, Lee, you know, the person here with uh, Mima, they're lined up to go to court with them, you know, to JP court. And I think that's going to have to happen before anything can happen here. Look, I mean, it's not our... I think it's not our venue to an extent. All circumstances are different, each and every right. case. Yep. And I, believe me, I sympathize with these people. But it's been five years, and a lot of them, the applicants that have them, aren't even in them. And then you got two structures on one parcel of property, which is in total violation of our ordinance. Even, even so me, we can't let them do that. There's just such confusion. And they wouldn't. There's nothing, nothing scheduled to stay in the city now. Everything that, that there's court proceedings or going to court or whatever, they're all units that they are supposed to have already moved, you know, to a, a park or, or a private land somewhere out in the county. Or they have not closed their deal because they sat on their thumbs and never closed the deal buying a trailer and going to a place they need to go. So that's all. If they've got no permit to be there and they're in violation of the ordinance, when Judge Rath convicts them, he may order the, he, he may order the, the, the city building department to write a letter to the electric company, pull their meter, and just put them in the dark where you just can't, you, you, you know, to start insisting that they comply with the law. That'd be my suggestion, is getting the full meter. Get the single water company out there, turn the water off. You may not have that structure on that property. And, and um, maybe we can help help the eviction process if they don't have, you know, water and electricity. I just, I just want to make sure that our building inspector knows what direction he's going in with all of us here on the same page. He, he, he not he, so he, he knows, you know which direction you're going. I got, did you give them the court date that they got scheduled or do we keep processing before we come to court date? Gary wants to process before they got a court date with Mimo. So that's all I've asked. Of with. the letter that the city sent out that we stand by. That's all I'm, that's all I'm referring to. Why don't we do this? Why don't, why don't it, it, it's not to me, but, but what I might suggest is this. Let's, let, let, I would suggest that the city continue to, to prosecute its efforts, pursue its efforts in city court, get them in front of Judge Rath, even if the, the, the eviction is scheduled for later. If they get in front of Judge Rath tomorrow and they tell Judge Rath, look, I'm scheduled for an eviction hearing next week, Judge Rath can say, fine, come see me next week the day after and we'll finish this case one way or another and either they're out or they're not out or he can deal with it but if, if we don't do anything till the eviction proceedings over if we got to deal with them again and, and we just start then then we're that much further down the road exactly you know? that's, that's, that's so i say go ahead and spend if they're if they're doing something wrong go ahead and sign them now and get them in the court yeah okay yep. all right all right
Let's see. You on the real end here. Street okay. cutting time. Real quick. As this is just FYI. I want to let y'all know that uh, I've been talking to MDOT and uh, David Taylor with uh, Gulf Regional Planning, and they've been working along with us. Uh, what they seem to come down to is instead of putting signs on all the streets, that they just uh, give us advice to go ahead and do the major thoroughfares, which would be Richards, Nicholson, Gerard, Troutman, South Island View, Lang, and White Harbor. Instead of each individual street, we'll just go with the major streets that go all the way over the tracks. That's correct. So that's basically the so larger one. Okay. It, it, it's just it's just the larger size. Mainly because of the, uh, there's no object markers out there. No, what would go for you? I mean, uh, you pass up a street, you don't even know where you're going. I don't want to stop a house from the street. <laughs> John. So that, that's all I want to do is just play that up to date on that. I'm still with that. Lights flashing. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. All right, Gary, is that? That's it. That brings us up to date. All right. New business. Jack and Diana Donovan, smart code and map. You have a letter, letter from, um, uh, Peach and somebody. Peach, Peach. Oh. Did you get a copy of that, Jim? I did. Jake was one of my back, but since the snake had me came yeah. down, <laughs> I, <laughs> I went in my house tonight before we came here, Jim. And and, uh, and I put my pack down in my garage, and when I came out, there was a snake there, and it had to be hemmed up, and I couldn't get out of my pack. So he was scared. I came out. That's a good one. I like it's it. true. I got a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was a, it was a the copper-headed water rattler. It was about, <laughs> about eight feet long. Like a copper-headed water rattler. You can snake it. It was about eight feet, something like that. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what it was. It had, it, my, it had a, my cat had a, they had a standoff, and I just figured I'd let them work with each other. <laughs> <laughs> without the other door. <laughs> Is Mr. Goff not here? The attorney? Or whatever? Uh, I don't see anybody here, really. I mean, I'm not sure. I think this is just so. Just FYI? I don't know. Well, I, think I, I mean, I'd like to read it and probably have some questions. And can you put it on the agenda for next meeting? Mm -hmm. Sure can. Okay. I'd like to do a little research and understand what you're saying. I don't understand what they're saying either because we hadn't passed, we hadn't had any public hearing on this yeah. yet. Well, I, I know that it seems like the one of the properties that they're in question about right here, this area on the map that's in the office is zoned differently than the zone on this one. Well, the area that's in the building office is on just exactly. Uh -huh. I'll, look, I'll look at this area right here between Todd Terrace and all the way back. It's changed. This is a different map. This the one the in the room. office. one in the office is like that. The one on the wall where I get my packet? Oh, no. I'm talking about the one they worked on. They fit, they, that's that's a a way back. Two that's years a, old. That's a, probably an 08. Well, where did this copy come from? This is oh, October 15th of the Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. They, there have been map changes. There have been other studies. They got that uh, U.S. that study, the, the economic oh, yeah, feasibility, that, yeah. and it showed Klondike as a thoroughfare. We've had the the, uh, the fringe study yeah, show Klondike as a, as a thoroughfare. I mean, yeah, he also said that we had like a million square feet of commercial area that we probably won't get filled. Well, I, I think maybe we ought to fill what we got before we start making more of it. Well, well I, I, I think it's cool going on. Let's go ahead put it on the agenda. Yeah, we'll give y'all time to review and right. ask well, the thing. We haven't even had a hearing on this yet. I don't know what we're going to view. Well, I, I, I don't think, think the trial is going to realize what's going on. Well, they're not going to be able to nip it in the bud until there's a hearing. Yeah. This board uh, will have to nip it in the bud after there's a public hearing. Yeah, if, if, if you guys, if, if this map is in the, the, the smart code that you are looking at, if this is part of it, and if this changes zoning boundaries and, and things like that, zoning classifications in the city, then you're going to have to treat this just like a zoning change, a major zoning change, and have public hearings and input on and all each, that. We're going no. to each, 
No. No, not on each one, on, on the thing as a whole. It's a comprehensive rezoning. It's a comprehensive, that's what it is. It's a, it's a comprehensive rezoning of the entire city. We will do a massive pub county, and I think the planning commission's already started on their process, and they know it come up. So I guess, Jim, how does that work when it comes to the, you know, 20% of the landowners have to not like it? That's awesome. it it's, a, it's a different process because it's a comprehensive rezoning. It's not an individual um, piece of property. So you have the hearing, and every, you, you publish notice to everybody in the city. Everybody's got a chance to come in and look at it and, and, and make their complaints and, and object to individual parcels. Um, we did it, last time I was city attorney, we did it years ago. We ended up in a lawsuit, remember, over one piece, which we won, but I mean, um, I've just read this, but I just think he's jumping the gun. David may think we've already changed the zoning map and haven't gone through the hearing I, process. I talked to, to Ms. Donovan on the phone that she wanted to get on the agenda, and I said you're really way ahead of the game here, but they wanted to, to go ahead and do it. So if there's a piece of property that's being adjudicated right now because the, the, the city father saw fit to change his zone, if it's in the planning, if it's in this comprehensive zone to be changed, is there any appeal process for those people, or does it just go? When the, in, in this? Right. If the, if, a, if the property in question was zoned commercial, even though it was an RO, and the people around there objected to it, now it's in litigation. We haven't heard back from that yet. Yeah, we said not, if, wait if we, in our comprehensive plan, if we rezone all that commercial, do they have any recourse in that? Court. Again? Yes. If I understand, let's let's say the judge rules on that case today, and let's and, and it says and, it should remain R one. And, and it says or yeah, or and, or yeah, that's right. And, and Keesler loses, and Jack and Diane win. All right. If we come in a week or two later and adopt this new comprehensive rezoning smart code plan that changes it again, if they don't like it, they'll take us back to court. Or convince you guys not to do it, one of the two. Right. But if you guys vote to do it, then they got to take us back to court. Okay, could you you have to approve all of it or, or none of it? When it's presented? You, you guys will, will approve a final version. I suspect you'll make lots of changes to it before it's over with. I don't know that. You may not, but I, if, if history, if history instructs, the last time we did a comprehensive rezoning, there were several, several meetings and there were lots of changes in the different wards so yeah. i mean you, you submit what you, you know, okay this is this is our what we think is our mm -hmm. ideal good plan but as you listen to the different People input that, that live in these different areas they may sway you mm -hmm. to think rethink it mm -hmm. and and then it all changes at that point but if they don't sway you you say no 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 i really think this is the zoning is proper mm -hmm. for this area they're all, their recourse after that would be to take it. I don't 